What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. Today I'm going to be talking about a recent update I made to KitKat Slim, which now allows you to launch DS4 Windows from the click of a button. Now DS4 Windows is simply a program that allows you to use a PlayStation 4 controller as an X input gamepad on your PC. KitKat Slim allows you to wirelessly stream your 3DS's video to the PC as well as control your 3DS with an X input gamepad. So you can see how I'm going to be using my PlayStation 4 controller to fully control my 3DS over the Wi-Fi. Keep watching. Over here on my GitHub page and you can see we have the latest release of KitKat Slim and if I scroll down here you can see I added open DS4 windows with a button it's really simple and I also added DS4 windows to the automatically kill list so when you close KitKat Slim it automatically closes input redirection client NTR viewer and DS4 windows now if you scroll down here you can go ahead and download it right here get kitkatslim.exe now currently the source code isn't the right source code so don't try to download this and compile it because it's not going to work you'll probably end up with an old version of kitkat touch i just thought i would let you know that so i'm going to show you guys how you can get this set up it's super simple to set up all we have to do is grab this.exe so i'm going to download it and i'll meet you guys in the downloads in the downloads go ahead and open up KitKat Slim now click on the second tab on the left and this is going to take you to the setup page now if you're using a PS4 controller you can go ahead and get DS4 Windows and you're going to need NTR viewer starter kit and you're also going to need the input redirection QT fork and I'm recommending the one by Mastermune which is absolutely awesome and we're going to go over that soon it has old 3DS and 2DS C stick emulation now not quite full emulation but it does allow you to play Super Smash Bros with smash attacks and it does also allow you to use the right C stick to control the camera if you're playing Monster Hunter. As you can see there's a little picture here that tells you where to put everything so I'm gonna go ahead and download DS4 Windows, NTR Viewer Starter Kit, and then Input Redirection QT Fork. So the NTR Viewer Starter Kit is gonna download automatically the rest you're gonna have to get manually so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the downloads for input redirection client QT another mod and I'm going to download the zip file for it and then over here is DS4 Windows and I'm going to go ahead and download the latest zip for it as well. Back here in your downloads click on the main tab of KitKat and then just close out of it for now. What you want to do is create a new folder and just call this 3DS streaming or something to that effect. And then what you want to do, drag KitKat Slim.exe into that. And now I'm going to highlight all three of these and I'm going to right click them and use 7-zip to extract them to here. Now you're going to take DS4 updater.exe and DS4 windows.exe and you're going to put both of those into the 3DS streaming folder. You're then also going to take NTR viewer folder, just the NTR viewer folder, and drag it into 3DS streaming. And now while you're here, go ahead and delete ntr.bin, NTR debugger, boot NTR.cia, and then fake proxy. Now you can delete these three zip folders, you don't need them any longer. Now all we have to do is open up input redirection client QT and we need all of these files out of here. I'm going to go ahead and cut them and then I'm going to paste them into the 3DS streaming folder. I'm just going to go back and delete this empty folder now. Now I'm going to take my 3DS streaming folder and I'm just going to drag it onto my desktop. So here it is. Go ahead and open it up. Now I'm going to take KitKat Slim and I'm going to drag it into my taskbar so that I now have a shortcut to it. I've got my PS4 controller right here. Now if you watch I'm going to go ahead and click the PS4 controller button and now that it is at start minimized it will just automatically start in my taskbar. And there we go, see the light came on and the 
PlayStation 4 controller is now connected as an X input gamepad. Now that DS4 Windows is set up, you can click on input redirection and this will open up input redirection QT. And this basically controls your touchpad once you've enabled Rosalina's gamepad on your 3DS. And you can also go ahead and open up the button configuration over here. Opened up input redirection client button configuration and you can see in another mod there is basically tons of configuration that you can do. It now has everything that you could ever want. If you even go down to the bottom here and you're using an old 3DS or a 2DS then you can use the right control stick to play Smash Bros. So that will give you quick smash attacks to your right control stick and then the right stick as D-pad will give you camera controls in games like Monster Hunter. And those are pretty handy. It doesn't exactly give you a Circle Pad Pro, but it does give you somewhat of an emulation of it. I used to do those, both of those, with Glove Pie scripts. And you pretty much don't need to use those Glove Pie scripts ever again because it's built right into Input Redirection Client now. You can also see you can map buttons to different locations on the touch screen. So if there was a, say, a button on the touch screen, that you wanted to map to a physical button on your gamepad, you could go ahead and do that by mapping the coordinates perfectly here with the X and the Y to correspond with touching on the touchpad. Go ahead and save out of that. You can check that out more if you want. One other cool thing about Input Redirection Client QT is essentially anywhere you click here will correspond with a click on your actual touch screen for your 2DS or your 3DS. And if you happen to be on an old 3DS or a 2DS, you're not going to be able to stream your video wirelessly. So essentially, if you're clicking this touchscreen area, you're kind of clicking blindly and hoping that you're hitting the right spot. So what they did was add an awesome feature, which allows you to right click right here and then go ahead and load an image of the lower screen. So if you can get a screenshot of the lower screen, then you can go ahead and load it up and if you're playing a game that doesn't have a screen that changes very often then you might be able to have a more accurate idea of where you're clicking on the touch screen and then you can go ahead and click this clear image button and bring it back to normal and load up a different image say you're at a different part of the game for KitKat Slim to work with your 3DS, you're going to have to be on Luma 8.0 or higher so that you have the Rosalina menu, which looks like this. And if you go down to miscellaneous options, you're going to have to start input redirection. And once it's started, it's going to give you an IP address on the top right of the screen there. Make sure you note that in case you need it but KitKat Slim should honestly find your IP address automatically. Go ahead and exit out of this Rosalina menu. You're also going to need NTR custom firmware installed. I will recommend you get Boot NTR Selector by Nankitas. I'm going to put a link to the 3DSX version in case you want to run it from Homebrew, but I also am going to put a link in the description showing you how to inject the CIA into AR games such as I have done here. So go ahead and now launch NTR Custom Firmware. Now that NTR Custom Firmware is loaded, all you have to do is click Connect on your PC. So I'm going to show you how to get it all set up from scratch. Essentially, if you're on a 2DS or an old 3DS, the only thing you need to launch is Rosalina's Input Redirection Client. You do not need NTR Custom Firmware. NTR Custom Firmware is currently only to stream video, which you can only do on a new 3DS or a new, th new 2DS XL. I'm going to go ahead and get it started here. I'm going to launch NTR Custom Firmware on my 3DS. And now on my PC here, go ahead and open up KitKat Slim. And as you can see, it's already auto-detected my IP address. So if it doesn't auto-detect, then I already showed you where you can get that after launching Input Redirection Client. So now that we're all in here ready to go, all I have to do is hit Input Redirection Client, enter in the IP address if it's not already there, and then I'm going to go ahead and click PS4 controller, and my PS4 controller should turn on. There we go. And 
Last but not least, all I have to do is click connect and it should start streaming the video from my 3DS. Now, last thing I want to do before I click connect is go to the settings and I'm just going to increase the size of the screen so you guys can see them a little better. I'm going to change them to three times the size for the top screen and the bottom screen I'm going to make it two times the size. And then for view mode, if you change it from a one, the touch screen will be underneath the top screen. If you change it to zero, the touch screen will be beside the top screen. And then you can pretty much leave everything else the same and then go back and just hit connect. So I'm going to hit connect. And now I can just minimize KitKat Slim. We're not going to need it too much any longer. And you guys can see my video is streaming here wirelessly from my 3DS. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab input redirection client. And I just have to hover this over top of the touch screen and then expand it so that it covers the touch screen perfectly. If I take the TS opacity slider, that's the touch screen opacity slider, and I move it all the way down, it'll turn that fairly invisible. And now if I enable Rosalina's touch screen input, I'm going to be able to click here with my mouse and it will register on my actual 3DS. So if I go ahead and press L down and select on the 3DS, it will bring up the Rosalina menu, go down to miscellaneous options, start input redirection client, and then press B, hit B again, B one more time, and now you can see, so you can see I'm pretty much set up now. I've got my PlayStation 4 controller and it can control my 3DS. I've got the 3DS streaming wirelessly with NTR custom firmware to NTR viewer. And I can also use the touchpad on the PS4 controller to select things on the touch screen of my 3DS. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? So I specifically got this PlayStation 4 controller to do this since now that input redirection client supports C-Stick function on the new 3DS, then my right control stick that used to be my mouse got used up. So I needed another way to access the mouse and the only thing I could think was the PlayStation 4 controller having a touchpad on it allowed me to access my mouse again. So now I have full control over my new 3DS I have control over the touchpad right from the controller. I freaking love it. It's so cool. I'm going to go ahead and load up a few games and give you guys a little bit of a demo here. So I am playing some Attack on Titan and I'm really far away from my router. You normally couldn't probably get this good a performance this far from your router. So make sure you guys are a little bit closer. But you can see I've got the PlayStation 4 controller set up. It's ready to go. In game, I've also en enabled Circle Pad Pro, so it's going to allow me to use the C stick to move around my character. And we're going to go ahead and try to merc some Titans here. So, right off the bat, you can see I can move the camera around. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to kill this fool. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, we, we got him. We're good to go. The Spider-Man over to the next one here. Oh, you're going down, buddy. Oh, I didn't get critical. I suck at that. so dope <laughs> oh my goodness that was literally so dope look out now playing the legend of zelda ocarina of time and i need to enter in my name so i can go ahead and use the touch screen on my playstation controller for this and then hit okay how cool is that So here I am using my PlayStation 4 controller. Yeah. 
We finally got ourselves a ferry. We did it, Link. We made it. We started from the bottom. Now we're here. So you can see on the touch screen how there is buttons that are set up with no corresponding buttons such as 1 and 2 here. Now within the button configuration settings you could set one of the buttons such as maybe the right trigger here to press that button and then you could set a gear item there and use it by just pressing one button instead of having to use the touch screen to go and click it. I think that is pretty wild feature. So you can see we are just running around here. Everything is just working fantastically. Absolutely unbelievable. I, I love this so much, guys. The last thing I want to show you is if you want to stream Pokemon Sun or Moon, you're going to have to do something kind of special here. It's pretty simple, but basically run everything the same, get NTR custom firmware going, get input redirection going, and then before clicking connect over on KitKat Slim, what you want to do is load up the game, so boot into Pokemon Sun. When you've got to this screen and you can see your save file, go ahead and load your save file. When your save file is loaded, press the home button. Now that you've come back to the home menu and Pokemon Sun is paused, go ahead and click connect on KitKat Slim and it will write a save patch for Sun and Moon. Once it's done writing the save patch, you can go ahead and resume playing the game. And you should now be able to use your controller to play and you can also stream the video. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoy KitKat Slim. Go down to the comments and let me know if you're going to be using this to play your 3DS with an X input gamepad. If you happen to have any ideas in the future for me to add to KitKat Slim, don't be afraid to let me know also. Keep in mind I do not have any coding experience. I simply modified this program so that it would work with me. And it seems to work pretty darn well, I'm going to be honest. Oh, one last thing I should show you guys here is if you go ahead and hit the X on KitKat Slim, it will close out of NTR Viewer, Input Redirection Client, as well as DS4 Windows, all at once for you so you don't have to exit out of four different programs. Much love. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't slammed that thumbs up, make sure you hit that on your way out. And maybe subscribe for more if you haven't subscribed already. Today's theme was Super Mario RPG The World Map, and it was created by Weeblob. I've put a link to Theme Plaza in the description. Go down there and grab it if you happen to like it.